Hi, my name is Lee Brandt. I just want to do a quick video on the true dynamic range of the Pocket 6K Pro because I believe that it has more than um, what Blackmagic says it has. It says it has 13.4. I believe it has more than that. They claim that it has 6.9 stops above middle gray at ISO 800, and I'm saying it has 9, 9.1, actually. So I'm going to just kind of want to go over it uh, a little bit. Uh, I will reset uh, the notes here to exactly where everything was. Um, this was captured all at 1-800. Uh, both were captured at 800. And we're just going to go real quick. Um, out here, up here in the sky, with a line meter I went and I... Uh, measured at F90. F90 was this the sky up here. Um, so I just counted, well, how many stops would make it uh, nine stops above middle gray? So that would be F4. I just counted down from 90 down nine stops and it gave me an F4. So then I just had to find, well, where in the room inside is F4? And I can just uh, make that middle gray. And once I found the spots, and the spots were right here um, at the table, right here at the nightstand, and here in, in this section of the wall. That, that was F4. And then so what I did is I put my camera, Pockets Escape Pro, in false color and <clears throat> um, kind of worked on the aperture of my lens until... Uh, it made uh, F4 middle gray, and that gave me nine stops. So this is how we do it. Um, now, I'm doing it under wide gamut uh, color management, and you see here wide gamut because this is what's going to give you the most dynamic range. If you grade in, in standard definition and you apply LUTs, you're not going to get as much dynamic range. Um, and it's okay if that's what you want to do. But uh, if preserving highlights and preserving uh, dynamic range and latitude is your priority, then I would suggest doing wide gamut because it gives you the, the widest color space and the most latitude available. So that's what I did. There's another way of doing it through, uh, uh, there's another way to, to achieve wide gamut. I think it's, I can't remember what it is. Um, uh, but this is the way I do it. Um, okay, so this is the way it was captured. Really quick. Uh, we're going to go to from 800 to 100 so I can recover the highlights. Otherwise, the highlight recovery tab will not work. You have to go from, you have to shoot above 400, ISO 400, anywhere above that uh, from and then uh, in post, you have to go, you have to drop it to 100 and then you can get your highlights back. And as you see here, it, it, you can see on the right side on the parade, on the scopes, it's clipped. And, and then you do this and now it's not clipped at all. Um, and you um, obviously the interior is very dark. So we're gonna fix that real quick. Uh, Go down. I'm sorry, we're going to go up a couple of stops here. Uh, and then on my uh, shadows, which is grabbing too much, I'm going to finesse it a little bit. That's what I wanted to grab, sure. We'll go up about a stop. And that brings me to about where I was. And now I can work on. Highlights a little bit. Um, light, yeah, I'm going to bring down. This is just the highlights only. And then the specular. And now you see the difference. There is, um, in fact, I want to go a little bit bigger than that. Uh, so you can see what we're doing. Um, there is no clipping whatsoever. And this is nine stops. 
And I made sure to measure outside. I measured like five times to make sure that it was F90. And then I measured inside for F4. Uh, and so at F, my my lens was at 5.6 once and for it to give me F4 as my middle gray. Okay, real quick, I'm going to go to the next clip. Uh, kind of going to do the same. Um, 100. First of all, we, let me just make this fit. In fact, we're going to go here. Uh, let me show the nodes. Um, yeah, there you go. Um, this is kind of having the same problem. So we're going to go highlight recovery. That's uh, F90 outside. Middle gray is F4.4. I'm going to pull it up a couple of stops. There you go. I'm going to go to the interior and the shadows. I'm going to bring down just to select only the portions that I want to brighten up. I'm going to go about a stop up. That's about right. Because, I mean, if you look at this part, yeah, it looks about right. Now we go here. And I'm going to work a little bit on the highlights real quick. Light. Yep. Bring it down. That, well, that was actually too much like that. And the highlights. And then the actual specular. Uh, and you can see the difference. It's on the, on the scopes on the right. It's clipping at the top, but now it's not. Not even a little bit. Uh, if I was going bigger you can see that is there's no flatness at all in the high ends um even though it's nine stops difference from middle gray to the high, to the highest highlight uh and if you zoom in real quick you can see <clears throat> that before with without this you can't see uh a lot of the light post um and then if you Turn on your highlights, which is a great you, tool that you have. Everything's back. I mean, because here you, you couldn't even get the chain link, the, like the, the link, the fence over here. It's gone, and now it's back. Everything, there's zero clipping. Um, and that's, instead, is ridiculous. This is ridiculous how much your, the latitude that you have from that much um stops above middle gray i mean that's that's insane um real quick we're going to do one more and then i'm going to end this video uh we'll go to another clip project manager camera tests uh this one right here was one that really did something uh to show you how much is available um Okay, let's take a look. We need our gallery back. And this is um, now you'll see. Uh, this is the way it was shot. So would you say that is overexposed? That that's upon capture. That's well, uh, that's the way it looked right here. Everything is just completely blown. That's six stops overexposed, but obviously portions like the sky and the in the the tiles on the on the ground are way overexposed um so it's 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 more than just six stops on certain portions when so uh and then this is what i got back literally everything is back uh and if i turn this off you can see in the scopes there's nothing that's clipped i mean everything the tiles are back the sky is the correct color so you literally went um, um, from, from this to this. That is insane. And you know, just to show you how much latitude you get with this camera. And obviously, if you press here, you see how things are just gone and things are just back. 
And uh, just want to show you that. And uh, until the next video.